I'm going to take a little bit of time, and hopefully it'll be entertaining to you and very informative to you about some of the new mowers for the 2014 mowing season. At this point, we're going to show you some of the rotary mowers, and we call these rotaries, and they are uh, with a rotary blade underneath them, and that's what we distinguish, but we have different brands that we do represent. We have a Gravely, we have Toro, and we have Snapper. And we're going to show you some of the features on the new products that are out there. This year, Gravely came out with a line of mowers for the rotary mowers, and it has some features that are very, uh, very appealing. One height adjustment, so you can change the height of cut with one lever instead of multiple levers. It does have three facets of mowing. You can take the bag off like I'm doing here. There is a mulching plug in the back side and you can put on or you can put on a side discharge so it does have all three facets of mowing grass some nice little features that they did is you squeeze this down that's how you pull to make the engine run but this is what you squeeze to make it go faster by squeezing this up or pulling it back further it goes faster release it goes slower the other thing it has is a nice feature you can flip the handle over I can completely drop it down so for storage or putting it in a vehicle to bring it out or to store it underneath in, in the winter time it makes it much better it even has different heights for the operator you can elevate it higher lower by moving this lever it's a feature that some people depend on who's mowing if you have a, a taller spouse and one is taller and one is shorter it, it can help quickly to adjust that for that consumer what we have here is a Toro what we call the recycler. It's called the super recycler because you gotta be careful. There's two lines that Toro makes. One is called the super recycler. This has a cast aluminum deck. It makes it lighter and more durable than its counterpart, which is a steel deck. This is exclusively sold at Steve's North End Mower Shop. The super recycler cannot be found anywhere else but through this dealer network. Some features again, we have a rear bagger and then this one can come right off. You do have the ability to mulch it with a plug that's in, the, in here. You can fill up the cavity. And sometimes what people don't realize, by closing the cavity up, it does not allow the, the grass to build up in the tube. So it doesn't create that heavy wet and all of a sudden it drops out and you got this big pile of green grass that turns brown a day or two later. This has another feature that's really nice that you can make the handles, again, go vertically up for storage or you can completely flip it over it also has ability that you can put them at different heights again all you're doing is moving a pin the blue knob here allows me to change the height of, of the handle this one has something in it for mulching and as people discuss mulching it is real important to understand that there's some di distinct advantages I think from that view you might be able to pick up but we have the blade is from here and there's little kickers they call them kickers and what the idea is is the grass gets cut off it in turn throws it back against the kicker that in turn throws it back against the blade and it chews it up much finer and this is called an accelerator so it helps to create more turbulence be aware i'm sorry people are looking but there is no gas or oil in this machine so it's very safe for me to turn it upside down like i've done all these machines have never been run but as you purchase a mower from Steve's Mower Shop, be aware, mowers are always assembled, they are gas and oiled, and we will explain how to properly use them and maintain them. So that's something that you're going to gain when you come to Steve's North End Mower Shop. We have all those facets that they are totally assembled, gas oiled, and somebody will t explain how to maintain it and how to properly use it. But we would show you how this has what we call the super recycler. On the Super Recycler, we have what we call the Personal Pace. The Personal Pace is designed as you squeeze the bale down, you slide this down, the further down it goes, the faster you walk. Hence the word Personal Pace. You walk at a speed that is a, for you or for whoever the mowing person may be. So you can make it walk faster or slower. Here it appears like you're really pushing the mower, but once you start moving, the mower, just the handle keeps sliding down, you keep going faster. This also has a nice feature for some of those that have issues with starting mowers. It has electric start. You turn the key and the engine would spin over and it would start the engine. Over here we have what we call the traditional recycling mower. This is what you'll see many other places, but again, at Steve's Mower Shop, when we offer it to you, we will give it to you fully assembled, serviced, ready to go. This model comes with many models available. This one has electric start, just like the Super Recycler. You can just push the button, the engine would spin over, and the engine would start. If for some reason you forgot to charge the battery, you still have a rope backup system like we do on the Super Recycler. This has a, again, model that you can bag it. You have a side discharge, and you also have 
a mulching device. This one here has a design that you can just flip the lever from bagging to mulching. Underneath the mower, this uses what we call a standard atomic blade. It just has notches in the bottom of the blade from the mulching aspect of the mowing. The whole problem sometimes with mulching, you must be prepared to mow more frequently and a little higher. And if the grass is extremely wet, that's when mulching doesn't perform as properly as it can be. And if you start reading about it, they do want you to mow higher. Primarily the landscapers and stuff like that or the custom cutters are looking at three inches of height of grass because it allows the grass, the roots to grow deeper for your better lawns and, and making it look better. But it also makes the mower perform better because there's places for the grass to go. We have here off to my right is what we call the snapper. And this is called the high vac series. And I'm going to demonstrate in a few seconds here what does the high vac mean. But on this particular model, we have the same thing. We lift the bale up, we pull the rope, and the engine starts. In order to make it go faster, slower, the red lever here, if I pull this back, I can go slower. If I push it forward, it goes faster. To make it drive, I palm this over. And what that does is propel the rear wheels. These are, everything I have shown you is rear wheel drive. Primarily, the rear wheel drive is the, the main one that we will offer in our market because of our hilly terrain. As you think about it, if you have a front wheel drive, the least amount of le effort here takes the front wheels off, and that's when you have a front wheel drive model that doesn't pull well, and you're pushing it up the hill. With a rear wheel drive, with the rear baggers, that comes into play. If the weight, as you put more weight in the back here, it makes the front end lighter. Consequently, the front ends don't drive as well. So it is very popular with the rear wheel drive and the variable speed drive to, to give me a wider range of ground speeds and that's important because different people walk at different speeds. Mowing conditions sometimes dictate how fast I can walk. I'll show you another feature. You can take the bag off very simply and it can dump out the back. You can convert this into a side discharge or a mulching mower. There's a mower that we have our lineup. It's called a Ninja Blade and I will be showing you that in a second. We also have another mower that is a ninja blade and it has, this is the blade that we're talking about. It's a forked blade. You can see it has double cutting edges. The idea is as the grass gets cut off, it slides it up here against the other blade that cuts it finer and throws it inwards so that the other part of the blade comes and hits it again. So it's again, it's rechewing of grass. It can be put on the high vac series, but we have another model. We just call it the ninja mower, same basic mower except it just has the fork blade on it or the ninja blade instead of a standard mulching blade. I did talk earlier about the high vac series on this deck and what I'm going to show you, this mower has what we call a rolled lip. It does not allow the air to drive come out, hence it will make it a better backing system. It has a lip all the way around so consequently when the grass is being run around, it can go right up into the bag not blowing out onto the yard so it does an excellent job of bagging the yard. And if somebody's looking for leaves in the fall of the year, we have what we call a snapperizer on it. And that we demonstrate in the fall of the year because it has a great, and you can put it underneath there and it shreds the leaves up finer. What we have here is Toro has come out with what we call the Time Master. And it's a bigger cut. Everything I have shown you is either 21 or 22 inch cut. But sometimes people want to get a bigger cut without getting into the commercial grade. And this has fit the need. It has been really well accepted. We have electric start feature. And then the other thing we have nice is we can make this, the blade doesn't go around until I pull the bale back. Now the blade engages. I let go of here, the blade stops. Well, one advantage is now you can empty the bag you could use it to also make the mower drive to a place that you're going to empty the bag without it cutting grass. And then all you have to do is pull the blue bale back, pull this down, and the blade engages and you start mowing again. It has what we get in called personal pace and it allows it to go with different ground speeds. You're just sliding this down and it goes further down you go the faster you travel. It does have ability to do this, some nice features such as staying the handle straight up in the air by moving this on or flipping the handle completely over. And it also has ability to take the bag off of it. And it has a mulching plug or it has a side discharge. All those come with the mower and it all is in part of the package that you get. So you have three in one. We have here is a, we did bring in a line of generators. We have a Gravely lineup. We have two models to choose from. We have this 5,000 and we have a 7,500. Uh, this one here is a rope start using a Subaru engine, very common in our industry for a higher end engine that is being used on many of the higher end products today. And on the 7500, we use a Honda engine with electric start. 
So those that had some power failures, you might want to consider Gravely because it's a real long old company and they have a very good reputation and they've made a line of generators now to go with it. What I have here is, as you can see, it's 1953 is what we figured out the year that this was built. And this year Toro is celebrating their 100th anniversary of a company. And in my time in, in, in the winter months, uh, when we weren't, I did this primarily in our, my cellar at home, I refurbished an old reel mower that we had acquired. And I just went over it and it's kind of, I repainted it, had powder coated on the handles. You'll see that somebody lettered this for me because I was not able to do that, but I did everything else myself. Repainted it, I got new tires and put all new components and stuff like that on there to make it just to bring it as a conversation piece. And it was kind of neat as a real mower and some of the people that come in remember doing real mowers instead of what we call the rotary mower lineup today. And the real mower is just out there. Uh, it is, it's almost a going way of the market. Nobody even knows, the younger people have no idea what it's for, but that's what I did over the winter. And like I said, it's, Toro is 100 years old this year. We have a product that we're recommending highly with this ethanol gas that's out there today is creating a lot of problems with mowers and the outdoor power products and for storage or even the week to week usage. And our manufacturers recommend that if you're buying gas that you should turn it over in 30 days. Well, that may not be possible. So what you may want to do is buy a product that stabilizes the gas. And if you take the time to read about it, you'll hear about words called phase separation and it has to do with the gas that is, the ethanol gas that's in there will go to the bottom and it will attract water droplets. And it's just something that will stop, stop that from happening. But we, then we have a line of gas tanks or gas cans and people have been complaining about how they to go to fill them and or to, to use them. But this one here is a no spill, but you just push your thumb in here and it just allows it to work. You don't have to push a nozzle down or hold it down, you just push the button in it releases it when you let go, it stops it. There's two benefits. One is it for no spill. The other one is where the air gets in there. And the word is called hydroscopic. It attracts water droplets. So no air will get in, so the gas will stay better. So in the conjunction between Startron and our no spill cans, that may be a big asset for people that are having uh, outdoor power products and they buy it for a five gallon can and want it for multiple uses. So we have some here at Steve's Mower Shop. You may want to stop out. We have the no spill and the Startron to help you out keeping your mower running properly or snowblower. Sometimes in our industry people will have to and you should be cleaning out your underneath your mower. So I came across something one of our sales brought out and it's a new type of putty knife and it really it's designed because it's flexible, it's curved in the round spots. So at this point I'm going to take the blade off, take always remove the spark plug wire before doing anything. And I just going to show you a short demonstration. It's rounded so you can get in there to really clean out the and it and the thing of it is, it flexes so that it can give. When you get into round corners and stuff like that, and it makes it much more uniform. But it allows you to get in there and scrape the deck out much easier than an old putty knife that was used before because the deck, well in this case you can see it'll flex and it really gives you that spring ability and it's contoured to the mower deck itself. So I thought I'd show you this. It's something that we caught at Steve's Mower Shop. Stop on out, they're quite available. I just thought I'd show you, it might make your life a little bit easier to clean out your mowers. What we have here is Gary on one of the Z-Masters from Toro. And what he's demonstrating is the maneuverability of this Z-Master. This is a true full-blown commercial grade mower. And we're going to bring the mower closer to us and show you some of the features on it the, the, that offer on the, great, on the Toro Z-Master out here the, today. Like I said, this is a full-blown commercial machine. What makes it full-blown commercial? We have a suspension seat that it is adjustable here. It has rubber cushions isolators on here. This is a seven gauge steel deck with a bull nose in the front. This could be used for a homeowner, but many times it's meant for somebody that is mowing grass commercially. We have armrests on here. We have the roller protection, as they call it in the industry, ROPS. On the Z-Master, on, on this particular one, has a $500 rebate. And this also has available 0% uh, for 42 months. So we have financing that is done right in at Steve's North End Mower Shop. So you don't have to chase around and trying to find financing available. We have that right available. We also have, we can do for uh, townships and municipalities a state contract. 
that is really a better price than what anybody else can acquire. So if you are a municipality or townships or school districts, we do have that available to uh, the consumer, uh, to the people that are having for bigger Z type mowers out there. I have John here right riding the Titan series of mowers. This is a little bit of a crossover from a homeowner series to the commercial series. And we'll go over some of the features and benefits here and you might want to stop out because this may be t targeted to the homeowner market that wants something better than a fabricated deck and we'll gladly explain what the difference is. The Titan is a really a neat mower. It's, it comes in many different size decks. We brought it in with a 54 inch deck. That way you get a little bit of a bigger cut for the homeowner that wants to get above the, the 50 inch decks that are out there. On this one here, the, we call it the Titan. It's a Kawasaki engine that we power it with. We are an authorized dealer for Kawasaki, Grave, or Kohler engines, Briggs and & Stratton, and Subaru. Uh, we have a parts availability. We do stock a lot of the parts that are necessary for maintenance of these mowers or other brand mowers. On this Titan, some things that are nice that we can offer, uh, that it has a what we call a, stand, a fabricated deck, and this is made out of 10 gauge steel instead of 7 gauge. We have in the shop, we have these little templates. If you stop out, you can actually see the thickness of different gauge steels. And as you check around, some of our competitors will use a 7 gauge in one app application and then put a 10 gauge on top. On the Gravely setup, or on the Toro, I'm sorry, on the Toro setup, we use to totally all the way across as 10 gauge steel. But this has a foot raising, lowering. That's done here for raising and lowering the deck, and this is a height adjuster. The arms roll in once you do that, like any other Z mower. It's always steered with the levers. We'll gladly go over at Steve's Mower Shop how they are very easy to get used to and how fluently you can get accustomed to them very quickly. And it gives you a better quality cut, a zero does, but it also is more maneuverable and cuts down on trimming time. This also has a rebate going on for Toro right now. It's $300 off. And we still have the financing, like I talked about before, 0% for 42 months. I have right now as a snapper lawn tractor. We still keep a lineup of lawn tractors for those consumers that don't feel comfortable, uh, just don't want to get into a Z mower. And it, he's showing you how quickly, it's a hydrostatic drive, how quickly you can go from forward and reverse by just using your foot pedal. And on the, his right hand side, as he comes around, he will be able to see it. And he has a put pedal that pushes it down, allows it to go faster or slower. But it also has a very sharp turning radius. Now you can see the pedal on his right side. That's all he's doing is pushing the pedal down. And this is a true hydrostatic drive. It has a cast iron front axle. Has, he's just pushing down the parking brake. The seat's adjustable. This has a metal hood, and the reason I say that is because sometimes the people aren't careful, they do hit stuff with the plastic hood, they tend to break. So on you know, this model, we have an all metal hood, so it's more forgiving. You have an engine here that's using a Briggs & Stratton engine. It has a what we call a pressurized system. It has an oil filter on it. Like I say, you probably can't see it, but we have a cast iron front axle. All I'm showing you there is it's a very durable, it has a very sharp turning radius. And that's real important because of maneuverability around the trees and the shrubbery and things like that. The tractor market is has a grass catcher. You can hook a hitch onto them. But the Z's that we're going to bring out in a little bit as far as the homeowner series also have hitches on them. So sometimes people say, well, I, can't, I need a tractor because I need to uh, pull something. Don't be shy of the zero turn because we're going to show you that they have hitches on the back of those as well. Gary right now is you riding a homeowner's zero turn that is out there. This has a 42 inch deck. They do come in different size decks. They have a 34, a 42, and a 50. We, we will stock both 42s and 50s at Steve's North End Mower Shop. Uh, the main purpose is that many consumers either have a neater, a smaller mower deck for certain applications, and some that have a larger yard will naturally go with the 50 inch cut. This is really, you can see how comfortable he is. He can stretch out on it. You don't have the engine in the front where the noise or the heat is blowing back onto you. 
I'll show you some other features that are very nice on a zero turn. On this particular model, we have a nice high back seat for very much support of the back. You can see how easy it was to get off and on. There's nothing obstruction to get off and on on a zero turn. This one has a feature when you can push the pedal down, you can change the height to cut by moving this lever. It raises it or drops it down to a prescribed height. In that case, it's three inches. If you have a bump or a swale in the yard, you can push this down, goes over top of it, and release it, and it goes back to that particular height of cut. So that's a nice feature. This is your parking brake. It does have an adjustable seat, so you can go in and out for different size people. This is what I was also saying is nice. It has a large gas tank. It's filled on the side, but it's accessible for as far as the engine goes, it's easy access for maintenance. The air filter is here, the oil check is here, the drain is on the side, so it's very accessible. On this one, you won't see it, but there is a hitch in the back, and that makes it so you, like I said, you can drag, pull, whatever you may have, a yard cart, an aerator, a dethatcher, things of that nature. You can put baggers on them. We do offer financing on this 0% for 48 months on, a, on the Gravely line and it stop on out. I will, somebody here will gladly go over the features and more benefits of what we offer on the Gravely lineup of zero turns. For many years, Snapper always made a rear engine rider and consequently they still do, but we have totally revamped it last year. And <clears throat> some of the benefits are much, to the consumer is much better. The older one was very difficult to engage the blades. Now you sit here and you just pull the lever over. If you remember the older ones and some that have them, you had to reach down. It was very hard to reach over and get it. This one here is what we call a hydrostatic drive, similar to what we had with the tractor. It just uses a foot pedal. The further down you go, the faster you travel, push this back, goes in reverse. This is your height of cut. Some of the other nice things is it has a pan panel or a foot pan that you can actually step on, where previously there was no place for you to actually step on. And you can step right through, meaning that you can get on the mower and you don't have to worry about trying to step on something. You can slide off of it and it makes it much easier to get off and on the mower for some of the people that have conditions about bad knees and things of like that. So you have a much easier, easier off and on than you did previously. The other thing of a rear engine rider is so much, your tar sharp turning radius, that's important. Your sight lines, where you're going, it's much easier to store because it's not as large of a unit. And that's just designed for somebody maybe in town that have the half acre to three quarter acre lot. They do come in and either a 33 or a 28 inch cut. So stop out, we'll gladly go through it. And ultimately I forgot, everyone has once today as a cup holder or a beverage holder. Most everything we sell today has a cup holder or beverage holder on it. We have two Gravelys here. And at a quick glance, you'll say, well, they're both the same. But it, th there is totally different machines and meant for different price points and durability factors into the mower. This is called the HD series. It's, called, it's a step up from the homeowner series. This is a 10 gauge steel and a fabricated deck. And this will have a different transmission They're built by Hydrogear. And on my right here, what we have is the Pro Turn 100 series. And on this one is a 52 inch deck also with a 10 gauge steel. But from that point on, there's, this has a larger frame, tubular frame here, larger tires than what this one does. Back tires are larger. This has a different transmission in it. This has a heavier duty transmission. This one has a, a, a little bit bigger or more durable Kawasaki engine over top of this one. This is still a great seller to the homeowner that wants to get a little bit uh, more robust than they do with the homeowner series because you can see we have the fabricated deck. These are reinforced casters. In here it's reinforced. It has a nice seat with armrest, but this is much more plusher. It gives you a much better ride for if your wife was thinking about mowing grass, it's, that gives you much more uh, better ride, better comfort, bigger tires, like I say, a better transmission. So there's a lot to look at. We have a rear engine guard. We have the rollover protection back here. So as you're shopping around, you need to really find out price doesn't dictate what you're getting. So you need to stop out and really examine the different lines of mowers. The homeowner series comes in at one price. Then we go to the HD. Then we go to the Pro Turn. And we even go bigger than that, they go to 100 series and 200 series. And it depends on what your needs are. And, and when you come out, somebody will gladly go over the different features and the models and benefits. And features 
give you benefits for you maybe as a better ride, more stability, has to do with longer life. So that's some of the stuff that you'd be aware of. Height of cut is really nice on these because you have a foot control like we do on the homeowner series. And that's on the same on this one. So it's real important not just to use price as your point in the size of the mower deck as your determining factor what you're looking for. There's a lot more such as these have cast iron spindles in them and some of the companies out there use aluminum spindles. So stop out. There's a hex belt on this one and on this one and that makes it much more durable than a regular V belt. So hopefully you found this and, and it gives you a little insight on what's out there as far as zero turns because there's a lot to choose from. Is this what you may have used this winter for snow and that's you're getting a little tired of using a snow shovel maybe you should stop out at Steve's mower shop and check out some of the alternative ideas and make your life a lot easier and my alternative will be how about looking at one of the Aaron snow blowers that we have here this has a wonderful feature such as electric start hand control they even have hand warmers on here you have hand warmer so it keeps your hands warm while you're out there in the cold weather. This has what we have a feature called auto turn. If you never run a snowblower you won't know what I'm talking about but those that have had used a snowblower when you go to turn it it's very difficult to turn. Well you'll see this one here has ability to turn on there. There is a built-in differential action in the snowblower itself. That makes a nice feature for maneuverability because when you're out there trying to turn at the end of your driveway it makes it very difficult to turn the snowblower. You'll find out this is a great feature and this is on many of the snowblowers that we're offering on the Aaron's line. We have, like I say, the handed hand warmers. We have a light, so when you get out there and it's, who knows what time it's going to snow. It gets dark at five o'clock. From that time on, you may have to go out there and blow snow. Stop on out. We're taking orders now. I'll show you some other features that are very unique. Here we have a cast iron gearbox, and those that had the heavy snows this year maybe have had failure in there, and you can see it's reinforced. You have the serrated blades, so when you get the snow blow plow going by and chewing up your dumping ice out in front of your driveway and it gets all iced over, this will chew it up. You have heavy construction here. You have double skids on the side so when they do wear out you can flip them over. Much longer life than what many of the others that are offering out there. Much heavier construction. They come in different widths. This is a 24. They make 28s. They make 30s. They have some with tracks but primarily we do sell them with the wheel drive today. But then they also have a nice feature, they call it single hand control. When you squeeze this down, that makes the blower run. You can squeeze this down, makes the wheels go. You can let go of your right hand to turn the chute or change the direction of here so it throws it. So this is some of the features that we do offer. We're going to show you a few lines. Here we have a lineup of handheld products. And we, have, we sell a company called Redmax, and it is a very durable, long life offering a nice feature such as this one here has rubber shock built into the engine so that it isolates the, the vibration from the engine to the unit but it has a solid drive shaft some gearbox in the bottom you'll see that it has a reinforcing so that it very long life as far as when you tap and go on the head dual feed line we have many models that they do make we have a hedge trimmer and as you can see this has a real wide blade and they're double action meaning both blades move back and forth on some of the lower end only one blades what does that do it gives you a better cut it cuts down on vibration because they cancel each other out and you can get bigger things in between there so it will do a better job of cutting down some of the bigger bushes and stuff like that and it is a two cycle engine these are what we call stratus charged engines and that gets into the environmentally friendly engine so they don't give as much carbons out. Some of the, we have a few other things such as we have a hand chainsaw. We use this one for climbing or for somebody that has limbing. It is designed that you can climb it on your belt. But many homeowners like it because it's very light. And all they need to do is trim some limbs off and stuff like that. So we have different models of handheld products that are available. I brought out a handheld blower that we're making that we do offer from Red Max. And it's a very good product that I can say it just offers chrome cylinders, very durable, long life, and easy servicing. We came out and I was approached about offering something that is with a power cell in it instead of gas. And it has really been interesting. It has power cell. It has a, the motor is down at the bottom, not up here. And the thing is, it'll run just as long as a gas tank of gas will run on a normal trimmer. But it has it's equal friendly, friendly, 
it will not have any carbon footprint. And what else I can show you, it has the string trimmer, but it's a straight shaft instead of a curved shaft. It's well balanced. As you can see, I can hold it here and it's just nicely balanced in my hand, it's so it doesn't have a lot of weight one way or the other. But the motor is down there. It has a twin line on it using 95 thousandths lines, so you're not getting those little trimmers where they don't hold up. And I'm going to show you some other things that we can do with this in a second. Now we've changed it over, and it's a matter of just me undoing this coupler right here, this clamp, and then tighten that back up, and I put a hedge trimmer on it. And then you can just plug this in, and it will be a hedge trimmer instead of a uh, handheld blower. We have a handheld blower, we have a string trimmer, and we have this uh, unit that can convert back and forth. The unit is designed... so that you can multitask in the case you have some shrubbery to trim, you have a hedge trimmer. If you can see, when I did run it, these both of these are also double dual action. It has a real wide blade, so it allows for better for trimming, and it gives you good reach out that you don't have to be right against something for trimming. So it does give you a nice reach on there. And that's been a nice, I think it's a real neat for somebody that it doesn't want to fuss muss with gas. It will make it much easier, much simpler. And you have a, a power pack in the back here. You can just remove it, charge it, and reinstall it again. I'll show you something else we have. Our final attachment is a little blower so that you can, in the fall of the year, blow leaves, doing your sidewalk. No, it's not going to give you the power of some of the gas powers, but you've got to realize it is more convenient, no gas to fuss with. It's going to create enough power to do the leaves when they're first falling. These are embedded into the ground, but when you're doing your, for cleaning off the sidewalk and stuff like that. So I think it's a real nice tool. It can be very handy. You don't have any gas, and you know the problem with trimmers, if you let them sit around with the gas today, uh, it deteriorates quickly and it does not hold up as well. So here's something else we have at Steve's North End Mower Shop. It's built by a company called Core, and they do have three attachments that hook onto it, and it's very useful to, for the homeowner. This is our presentation, and hopefully that's been useful, helpful. Uh, stop on out. We have many models to choose from, but we also have financing available. We offer parts. At this time, I'd like to introduce the staff at Steve's North End Mower Shop. I have my wife, Nancy, to my right. I have John, one of the technicians. I have Ryan, another technician. Bob is another technician, and Gary is a technician and the person that will answer the phone and handle the parts. Hopefully you can stop out. We will gladly go over some of the mowers. Uh, we will have a, like I say, financing available. We're up here on North End of the North End Shopping Center, so it's real easy to find us. We're right off of 663. We have a website. It'll be scrolling across there. So hopefully this has been very informative. Thank you.